Hi there, Will Coombe speaking and welcome to this very quick five minute video uh, on tutorial on the SEO tool SEMrush. SEMrush.com is where you go to get it. Uh, it's an online tool uh, and basically uh, explores uh, any given domain that you give it um, and uh, gives us some key information about the domain, gives us a great overview of how the domain's doing with regard to search engine optimization and also gives you a heads up on your competition and gives a really good insight into your uh, competitors out there for the keywords that you're going after. Uh, so uh, semrush.com, on the home page you get the uh, inviting toolbar. This is a free tool up until a point. It will give uh, restricted results back to you uh, when you're using the free version. However, we would recommend, uh, like all the tools that we recommend at Sharp Digital, uh, we would recommend that you go and get a monthly subscription. I think it's around $60, but well worth it in our opinion. So, uh, just going to put a, a, a random uh, website name in there, architectureforlondon.com. We're going to select the UK um, a, a version of Google. Obviously, in the, if the, you're in the US, uh, click US, and then it's also got the German and French versions as well amongst other countries. Uh, so uh, the results come straight back here um, and uh, we can draw a hell of a lot of information fr from them as well. So we've got uh, in the left, uh, up the left side here, you've got the organic search traffic uh, that will uh, usually tell you your, your monthly uh, search or this month's monthly search and tell you uh, if the traffic is, is trending up or trending down. Um, and as I said, that's organic as well. It, it gives a little bit of backlink information. Uh, the uh, paid version will go into more detail with the backlinks. Uh, but for most of the uh, stuff that we use it for, the uh, summary page or the overview page uh, should be suffice. Uh, we can scroll down here, a really, really uh, a, a impressive graph that we get uh, regarding the, the websites or whatever website that we've put in regarding their organic versus paid or Google AdWords traffic. Um, and we've got a time scale uh, here from all time to two years, one year, six months, and one month. We'll click all time um, and we can see uh, what's going on with this domain's organic traffic. You know, July, July 2014, there was a big rise, up we go through 2014. And then this is interesting, a massive drop off of organic traffic. And we can only uh, um, come to the conclusion that that um, is a result of a Google algorithmic penalty. Um, and there's a many uh, um, uh, penalty checkers out there that you can overlay this graph onto to work out which penalty it is. Uh, so in late 2014, there was evidently a, a Google algorithmic penalty that was released that um, uh, definitely affected this website. Um, and as you can see, the, the traffic rose again, went down again, and has, has kind of steadied out in the last year or so. That can give, that gives us a lot of information, um, particular clients that come to us with um, penalties. We can identify which penalty, judging by uh, the time of the, uh, dra the traffic drop-off, um, and uh, we can work out which penalty they've, uh, they've, they've got from Google, um, and, uh, and then work to remedy it and get, uh, get their domain back and live. Uh, on the uh, left hand side gives an overview of the keywords of uh, which country, the, the geographical location. Uh, we scroll down, this is a really good uh, aspect as well, the top organic keywords. It always gives you, for all of these uh, topics, it will give you the top five uh, and then obviously if you want the, the full report you're going to have to get the paid version. But top organic keywords, it will let you know where they stand in the Google rankings. Uh, the volume, this is just taken directly from Google uh, Keyword Planner tool. Um, the, so the monthly volume um, and how much of that traffic are, are actually landing on their website along with the, or the cost per click for the, the, the AdWords as well. Um, so uh, you can really read into these keywords you know, and it will show you that you're, the, the, the keywords that you're actually performing quite well for, with. Um, and uh, but maybe not well enough. So you might be on the, the second page and you didn't even realize it. Um, and uh, th those are the quick wins, the easy wins that we can go out there, tweak the on-page optimization and then uh, rank far better and start getting the traffic coming in. Uh, as we scroll down to the bottom, we can see uh, some other useful information, as I was saying earlier, about the competition. Uh, There's a competitive positioning map, which is really good. Uh, it'll show you sort of uh, from left to right your, your competition, um, you know, right being 
uh, the, the, the competition that's doing slightly better than you for the keywords in your niche or industry um, and the, the left, uh, the competition that you probably don't have to worry about that much. Um, so, uh, so that's really good as well. And uh, it also gives you the branded search traffic for, for, your, key, for your branded keywords. And then as I said, there is a, um, a backlink checker as well, uh, which will give you your top backlinks and top anchor text, top referring domain. And uh, your your index pages with how many um, uh, uh, backlinks to those pages, uh, which is also uh, really good. There's absolutely loads of information on the left hand side uh, to do with your uh, your keyword analytics. Um, you know, it generates reports as well with the pro version, um, and uh, this is this is absolutely great for for. Um, trying to find out some keyword opportunities. You could click view uh, full report and as I said, because we're not on the pro version here, um, it, uh, it'll, it'll stop you after the first 10 results. Uh, but but for, for example, London architecture, t architecture, a thousand uh, monthly searches. Uh, we know that dom this domain is doing well anyway. It's number 17. So on page two, it wouldn't take that, uh, that much for you know, a good SEO uh, to get them onto page one for this key, uh, keyword and, uh, and take advantage of that massive monthly search. So I hope uh, that's been of use uh, to you. That's how you use SEMrush. Definitely use it. It's a great tool, one of the top five tools that we use here at Sharp Digital. And uh, good luck, uh, good luck crawling sites and uh, having a look at your competition.